Oh yeah, folks, as promised, I'm hoping that I have bass player from Hothouse Flowers, Peter O'Toole, on the line to talk about a solo project that he embarked on during lockdown. I'm just going to press the magic button. And with a bit of luck, uh, Peter, are you with me? I'm here, loud and clear. Ah, that's fantastic. Peter, I have to say, you know you've made it when you make it on to Mike's <laughs> Music Express show. <laughs> <laughs> I, look, I woke up this morning and said, this is my day. This, exactly. Hopefully it stays like this. Well, look, at yeah. seriously though, Peter, um, like even though you, you've been a ser- seriously busy man for so many years, uh, obviously you just weren't content to sit around during lockdown because you took on with, in fairness, a, a pretty significant project. Did you, tell us about it. Well, obviously all the gigs were cancelled. We got the call on the 12th of March. And uh, so I just um, I just had to do something, you know. I was, I was uh, left walking around here with loads of instruments, loads of ideas. And I just said, okay, I'll start doing uh, some, some writing. So I wrote the, the 10 tunes and um, came up with the idea to have the movie first, the short movie, um, documenting all the tunes and... Um, myself playing them all so it's one man playing 10 tunes on 10 different instruments so i just got busy just had to you know yeah i mean and that's i mean it, it's tough enough trying to put an album together but you also have this little you have a video that, that is, uh, goes along with the album about how the the whole process flowed i mean yeah that, that must have been quite time consuming in some ways but maybe very enjoyable in others then well, I had a lot of time on my hands, so I said I, I didn't think about the time element. It was just really um, just lost myself in the project, and it was just an absolute joy to be doing it. Um, I knew that there was going to be a long time, you know. I knew that that, that mu- music and gigs were going to be one of the last things to come back into the situation. Yeah. So I just lost myself in time and and uh, got busy, and uh, it really saved it saved my sanity or whatever is there but uh, it, Look, um, is, is this it gave me first... something really good and clear to focus on and I really enjoyed it yeah no I mean I, I, and, and I was just going to say that is this your first solo outing basically or have you done some solo stuff before um, no this is my first official solo stuff okay. so um, I've done a lot of recordings over the years but um, this is the first time that basically a window opened a, a gate opened and said Peter go and do it now so that's what yeah. happened okay well, Lucas, you were very kind. You sent me on the album very early, I have to say. That was fantastic of you. Thank you. And right. when I first listened to the album, um, and I, I, I felt compelled to send you some feedback on it because, mm-hmm. you know, the, the thing that jumped out on, uh, at me was that I, I almost heard this as if it was like a concept album. It was like, it was like a snapshot of a moment in time. But unlike, yeah. I, I've got a lot of music sent to me over lockdown, and some of it, in fairness, is quite negative sounding. There's a lot of negative songs in it. Um, mm. But I found that this gave me just a seriously positive feeling. Do you expect mm. different people to kind of find something different within this? Well, there's a lot of emotion in it, obviously. Um, you know, there was, um, as I said, I just lost myself in what I was doing. Um, I closed my eyes and just started writing those tunes. And... Um, I, I I had a lot of positive things to think about. Um, you know, as I said, the, the doors opened and it gave me time to sit back, reflect. You know, obviously there was a lot of, um, you know, uncertainty. But the one thing I knew was that I was working on this project and, and um, I was getting really um, satisfied with the, the, the tunes that were coming out of me. So that's I just let it flow and that's kind of what came out. Brilliant, because I, I think I, I can hear that when I listen to the album and mm. like from I suppose in my childhood uh, there was a lot of trad in my house growing up but I have to hold my hand up and say right I don't listen to a lot of trad music anymore now don't get me wrong there's a, f- a new bunch of artists in fairness that are coming out at the moment uh, sure. probably Lancome in particular that are bringing me back towards it again yeah but what I absolutely love about your album is how you integrate traditional and contemporary music and the f- I, I think I mentioned this in the email I sent you the flow is just incredible because you have the like you have the likes of two horses flowing mm-hmm. into Purple Daisy and that just flows perfectly into I Wonder and mm-hmm. like, was that intentional on your end? Well it just you know obviously I'm documenting some some sort of uh, story of my life you know starting with the harmonica and um, so it, it, there was a kind of a natural flow that that um, appeared, you know, without really thinking too much. I knew that the harmonica was first and the tin whistle was second. 
and then it just kind of flowed one after the other and I had the songs as well that weren't on in the um in the short movie so it just it just felt natural to put the songs in in the places where I put them and um yeah, it has a kind of a very natural flow to it. It really has. I, I have to mm. say, it's, it's it's an album that, like, I've, in fairness, I've listened to it several times at this stage. Folks, I haven't mentioned it yet. The name of the album is Leaving White Cedar, okay? It's absolutely fantastic. Peter, if people want to listen to the album, or better still, even go and get their hands on it, where do they yeah. need to go? At the moment, I'm selling it. I'm, I'm basically just a small um, cottage industry, so I'm selling it myself. And um, it's through the, the email enjoymusicpromotions at gmail dot com, and the reason I'm doing that is just I, I just wanted to keep it sort of um, I'm the one who produced it, who made it, and I'll be the one delivering it to the post office. I'll be the one who who send the email, you know, letting people know that it happened. And it was just really just to keep away from the machine because I didn't know what the what the machine, the music machine, was going to do over the the, the period of the lockdown. So I just said I'd just do it myself like this. And um, it's opened up a whole new um, way of doing things. Obviously, it was there before. But for me, you know, it's just a way of really communicating directly with people who like the music. And so, you keep total ownership of it all. It's proper cottage industry music. Yeah, really. Made in a cabin and sold from a cabin. And uh, <laughs> that's my man walking up the hill. It really is. Yeah. So, folks, as I say, the, the al this album is called Leaving White Cedar, and mm. I've had several listens to it at this stage, and I, I no problem saying this just gets better every time I listen to it. Peter, Brilliant. thanks very much for joining me today. I'm going to play the, the first single from the album. It's called Far Off Beautiful World. So maybe if you'd be so good as to just introduce it for me, just let people know what it is and what it's about. Well, this is a song that happened actually just as I started writing the the the, the album, and um, it's really just about the the situation. And it was a kind of an outsider's look at what we have done to our world and how we need to pull up our socks and basically start, um, you know, uh, communicating a little bit better, sharing a little bit better, being together a little bit better, and um, dreaming just of a of a far off beautiful world. So that's right. the Peter, gist thanks. Of very much for joining me today and Thanks, folks Mike. this is from the album uh, Leaving White Cedar it is Far Off Beautiful World enjoy and slowly we move standing
Hi, this is David Keenan, and you're listening to Mike McMahon's Music Express hey, Show on Dundalk FM. Good to hear you, boy. <laughs> 